Hello, I'm Philip Duncan with your Global Weather Extremes update for Monday, the final Monday of August 2021. And we are tracking a couple of big tropical storms moving into North America. We've got Hurricane Ida, and then uh, that's making landfall in Louisiana or has made landfall. And on the other side in Mexico, we've got Nora, which has also made landfall. But actually, I think on the animated satellite map, it's the storms down here in the Southern Ocean, which stand out a lot more. Unlike tropical storms, the middle isn't so stormy. The air pressure gets spread out over a great, uh, a greater distance. And so you end up with these sort of more spectacular looking low pressure systems, each one with a big cold front attached to it as it moves along the Southern Ocean. And then further to the north around the equator, the usual thunderstorms that we get each and every day. So let's take a look now in more detail at Hurricane Ida, which made landfall in Louisiana on Sunday local time. Uh, that was Monday morning New Zealand time when we made this video. This is where it came in, slightly further to the west than Hurricane Katrina, which coincidentally and incredibly was exactly 16 years ago today. So we've got this storm making landfall just to the west of New Orleans. This right here is the Mississippi River. So it is just only just missed the Mississippi from making a direct landfall there. But either way, it won't make much difference. The storm surge and the strong winds associated will help to sort of block the river for a time, slowing the speed of it. And then of course, all the heavy rain falling and that's the uh, storm surge slowing the river down and the very heavy rain that falls that could cause more problems uh, in the days ahead or in the next couple of days ahead. This is how it looks on the animated rain radar, the augmented radar. So the storm making landfall right here. This is all marshy swamp land in this area here, so a bit of an ecological disaster as it messes with those uh, swamp lands, but it moves further in just to the west of New Orleans. The bulk of the worst winds though directly hitting the western side and southern sides of the city, and then it moves further up towards Baton Rouge. So this is a big system, but it is moving through at quite a good speed, so we're hoping that will help minimize some of the damage. This is the wind map as it made landfall. The areas with the severe winds right in this zone here. So this is affecting New Orleans. The main city center is here and out to the southeast. A lot of the big flooding that we saw with Katrina was up to the north here around Lake Pontchartrain. Uh, Lake Pontchartrain at the moment, uh, the, I know the main highway is closed across it, uh, but this system is just moving around the edges of it. So let me show you in more detail as we show you the animated wind map of Ida as it moves through. So it weakens a lot as it moves in. So by that point, and just sort of a less than 24 hours, it should start to completely fall apart as it moves around the western side, west of New Orleans, and those winds fall apart. But then it becomes a rain event, and that'll be the next focus. So this is where it tracks in the days ahead. It moves up to the eastern side, and of course, the Mississippi River comes right down here. So it will be feeding into the Mississippi, which could cause more problems downstream in New Orleans in the next day or two ahead. And then it moves off to the northeast. There may well be a quiet spell after this for the next week or two, as far as tropical storms are concerned. But what this leaves behind is a very humid southerly airflow that will be going into America and Canada for the next week or two ahead. So don't expect it to be getting colder anytime soon. And then over here, we've got uh, Hurricane Nora, which made landfall in Mexico over the last day or so, moving up along the coastline, hugging the coastline. Here is the good news. While it is falling apart, that's good news as well. Uh, the second part of good news is it's going to drive some wet weather into these very hot, very dry regions that have had you know, forest fires week after week lately, poor air quality, things like that. So getting some rain in there will be very, very welcome. Okay, speaking of rain, let's take a look now around the whole planet, not just in America, but the areas that are seeing the highest rainfall totals for today, Monday. And we're certainly seeing it's in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama getting the heaviest rain. That'll be moving on into Kentucky later on. And then the, on the other side of things, we've got Nora, the bulk of that rain moving into Sonora as it goes through into parts of Mexico. As we go through Europe, the heaviest rain is falling around Germany, Poland and Belarus and Ukraine. Heaviest falls likely to be around Poland and also that line just there where there's a bit of afternoon cloud buildup. We've actually got thunderstorms in the area at the moment. And then we head on over to uh, Asia where again the heaviest downpours as we expect at this time of the year through the mountains. But we've also got some very heavy rain up here into the northeastern side of China. 
Okay, temperatures for Monday, or as we go into Monday, we're certainly seeing some very hot weather in the usual places. So the hottest weather on this map is in the brighter colors with the pink surrounding it. So you can see very hot weather going through the northern parts of the Sahara and Africa, the usual parts of the Mid East, and then over towards Brazil, that very hot weather continues on with all the thunderstorms. We just wish more of that wet weather could go further down into parts of Argentina and Chile, but that's a long way further south. And then we take a look at temperatures around parts of Asia and the Pacific, and we're certainly seeing a lot of heat coming into northern parts of Australia, but still fairly cool in southern areas, cool for New Zealand, at least in the south of New Zealand. There's a colder change moving through there, and pretty hot around the eastern side of China and also Japan, experiencing some very high humidity at the moment. Australia's got some hot weather coming up this Tuesday, by the way. The departure from normal map shows it being very, very hot. Sorry, I should say Wednesday. Uh, these temperatures here, eight degrees above average for this time of the year, over eight degrees Celsius. So that's significant daytime highs in the mid thirties and we're officially in winter still. Well, actually by then, just getting into the start of spring. Okay, the next map to show you the thunderstorms that are going on as we recorded this, couple of thunderstorms north of our studios here in Auckland, but most of the thunderstorms, the usual sort of tropical ones forming around the equator. We've got more thunderstorms around America, obviously with the hurricane moving in and all that humidity right up into Canada, Ontario, Ontario, Canada has had a number of thunderstorms around Sudbury, those thunderstorms moving further along to the east, caught up in that system, and you'll be seeing a lot of thunderstorms in the days ahead, off into that northeastern side. And our map of the day, well, we've got to go to the hurricane, surely, Hurricane Ida. This is the energy map, the wind energy map, showing the storm just as it made landfall, calm in the center, strongest winds right here. That's where the most of the uh, energy is made. And then you've got very windy weather, obviously circling right around that system as we go through. So for those who are in the path of that storm, we wish you all the very best. The good news is it'll turn more into a rainstorm, less of a windstorm over the next 12 hours as it falls apart quite rapidly. But then all that moisture, all that humidity will be left over. So for the next few days ahead, there'll be more severe weather concerns across large portions of the United States. That is all from me. We will see you again for our next global weather update on Wednesday. We're happily doing these videos because New Zealand is in lockdown and where I am, stay at home orders. And also we are recording this safely under the COVID-19 rules. That's all from me. We'll see you Wednesday.